Lil Wayne changed music forever. We talk a lot about the greatest of all time, the GOAT, but when it comes to Lil Wayne, the conversation hits different. This ain't just about hits or awards, it's about impact. Lil Wayne shifted the game, he changed how we hear and make hip-hop. A lot of rappers drop rhymes, Wayne, he drops bombs. Lyrically, he's in a league of his own, he wasn't afraid to be different. And that fearlessness? That's what makes him a legend. Let's be real, there's only one Lil Wayne. He's got this raw, unfiltered energy that's infectious. His voice, that gravelly growl, it's instantly recognizable. You hear it, you know it's wheezy. And then there's his work ethic. This brother is a machine. Mixtapes, albums, features, the man is a music-making monster. But it's not just the quantity, it's the quality. Wayne's wordplay is next level. He's got this way of bending language, of making words do things you wouldn't believe. He's a master of metaphor, a sultan of simile. He can paint pictures with his words, make you feel like you're right there in the story he's telling. And don't even get me started on his flow. It's like water, smooth, effortless, unpredictable. He can switch it up in a heartbeat, go from laid back to aggressive, from melodic to straight up spitting fire. He keeps you guessing, keeps you on the edge of your seat. But here's the thing about Wheezy, it's bigger than just the music. He's an icon. He's influenced a whole generation of artists. From Drake to Nicki Minaj, so many of today's biggest stars cite Wayne as an influence. He showed them that it's okay to be different, to take risks, to be yourself. He created a lane for himself, carved his own path, and in doing so, he opened doors for countless others. He showed the world that hip-hop can be experimental, that it can be weird, that it can be anything you want it to be. And that's why we're here today, to explore the legacy of Lil Wayne, to understand how this kid from New Orleans changed the face of hip-hop forever. So buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the world of Wheezy F Baby, the one and only. Before Wheezy stepped onto the scene, hip-hop was in a different place. Don't get me wrong, there was fire out there. But it felt like things were getting a little too formulaic. Like we were stuck in a loop. The same beats, the same flows, the same subjects. A lot of artists were afraid to color outside the lines, they stuck to what they knew, what was safe, and honestly, it was starting to feel a little stale. The genre that was built on innovation, on pushing boundaries, was starting to feel kinda predictable. Look, every genre goes through phases, there are peaks and valleys, and in the early 2000s, hip-hop was in a bit of a valley. We needed a shot in the arm, a burst of energy, we needed someone to come in and shake things up. One of the biggest challenges back then was the sonic landscape. It felt like every other track had the same type of beat, the same drums, the same samples. It was like everyone was shopping at the same record store using the same instruments. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with classic sounds. But hip-hop was built on experimentation, on taking different genres, different influences, and blending them together to create something new. We were missing that sense of adventure, that willingness to try something different, to break the mold. It was like everyone was afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. And then, there was the struggle for mainstream acceptance. Hip-hop was still seen by some as a fad, a passing trend. It wasn't given the same respect as other genres. And that lack of respect? It affected everything. Radio stations were hesitant to play hip-hop. Award shows often relegated hip-hop to the sidelines. And there was this sense that hip-hop artists had to compromise to water down their sound in order to achieve mainstream success. It was like there was this invisible barrier, this wall that separated hip-hop from the rest of the music world. And breaking down that wall? Well, that seemed like an impossible task. Now picture this, New Orleans, the Big Easy, a city known for its music, its culture, its energy. That's where Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., aka Lil Wayne, came into the world. But this ain't no ordinary birth announcement. This is the genesis of a hip-hop phenomenon. Wheezy's story starts young, really young. At eight, he was spitting rhymes on the streets. He knew what he wanted and worked hard. He met Brian Baby Williams at a block party. Wayne dropped a freestyle on the spot. Baby saw raw talent in him, and just like that, Wheezy was in the game. At 12, he joined Cash Money Records. He became part of the Hot Boys. Alongside Juvenile BG and Turk, Lil Wayne started making noise. They had raw, unfiltered energy that resonated with the streets. Now, being in a group is one thing, but finding your own voice, that's a whole other challenge. And for a young Lil Wayne surrounded by already established artists, that journey wasn't easy. He had to fight for his space, for his chance to shine. 
he started experimenting, pushing his voice, trying different flows, playing with his delivery. He was searching for that unique sound, that something that would set him apart from the pack, and slowly, but surely, it started to emerge. That signature Lil Wayne style, that choppy, unpredictable flow, the way he could cram syllables into a bar like nobody's business, the wordplay, the metaphors. It was like he was speaking in his own language. He wasn't afraid to be different. He embraced his weirdness, his quirks, and that's what made him so compelling. He wasn't trying to be like anyone else, he was just being wheezy. Now, Cash Money Records was known for its bling bling era. Diamonds, cars, the finer things in life, that was the image they projected. But beneath the surface, there was a lyrical complexity bubbling up, especially with Lil Wayne. He could hang with the best of them when it came to spitting about the streets, about the hustle. But he also had this introspective side. He wasn't afraid to get vulnerable, to talk about his struggles, his insecurities. And that's what made him different. He wasn't just a one-dimensional rapper. He was a complex artist, capable of switching from braggadocious rhymes to heartfelt confessions in a heartbeat. He was a walking contradiction, a diamond in the rough. And as he matured, so did his music. He started experimenting more, pushing the boundaries of what was considered traditional hip-hop. He wasn't content with just riding the beat, he wanted to bend it to his will to make it his own. Now let's talk about mixtapes. Before the internet really popped off, mixtapes were how you made a name for yourself. They were the streets, the underground, the place where rappers could experiment, go hard, and build a buzz. Lil Wayne? He didn't just understand mixtapes, he weaponized them. This brother flooded the streets with music. We talking da drought series, dedication, no ceilings, each one packed with fire. He was rapping over other people's beats, flipping them, making them his own. He was showcasing his versatility, his ability to body any track you put in front of him. He wasn't waiting for permission, for a record label to tell him what to do. He was taking control. He was building his own empire, one mixtape at a time. And the fans? They couldn't get enough. Every time a new Wheezy mixtape dropped, it was like an event. See, back then, the music industry was all about albums. You had to go through the label, through all these gatekeepers to get your music out there. But Lil Wayne? He bypassed all that. He went straight to the people. He was burning CDs, handing them out at shows, selling them out the trunk of his car. He understood that the real power was in connecting with the fans directly. He didn't need radio play. He didn't need MTV. He had the streets on lock and the internet. That just amplified everything. Mixtapes were spreading like wildfire online. People were downloading them, sharing them, bumping them on repeat. Lil Wayne was building a global movement all without a major label push. He was proving that the old rules didn't apply anymore. What Wheezy did with mixtapes was revolutionary. He shifted the power dynamic in the music industry. He showed artists that they didn't need to play by the old rules. They could build their own fan base on their own terms. He made it cool to be independent, to be prolific, to experiment without limits. He inspired a whole generation of artists to take control of their own careers, to build their own empires. And that's something that can't be overstated. He wasn't just dropping music, he was building a community. He was connecting with people all over the world through the power of his words, his music, his raw talent. He was creating a movement. And that movement, it changed everything. Now by 2008, Lil Wayne was already a mixtape monster. He had the streets on lock. But the game? It was about to change forever. The world was waiting for Wheezy to drop a classic album, something that would cement his legacy, something that would shut down all the doubters. And then, it happened. The Carter Three. The hype for this album was unreal. It was like the whole world was holding its breath. This wasn't just another album drop, this was a cultural moment. And when it finally arrived, man, it exceeded all expectations. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, sold over a million copies in the first week, platinum in a month. These weren't just numbers, they were earthquakes, shaking the industry to its core. This was bigger than hip hop. This was a full on takeover. The Carter III wasn't just a commercial success, it was a critical triumph. Critics were blown away by Wayne's lyrical prowess, his versatility, his sheer audacity. He was rapping his face off, switching flows like he was changing clothes. You had bangers like A Millie and Lollipop that dominated the airwaves, but then you had tracks like Mr. Carter and Tie My Hands that showed his depth, his vulnerability, 
He wasn't just a rapper, he was a poet, a storyteller, a force of nature. The album was a perfect storm of everything that made Lil Wayne great. The catchy hooks, the mind-bending wordplay, the raw emotion. It was experimental, it was accessible, it was groundbreaking. It was Lil Wayne at his absolute peak. But here's the thing about The Carter Three. Its impact went way beyond the charts, beyond the awards. It changed the game forever. It showed the world that hip-hop could be commercially successful without compromising its artistic integrity. It broke down barriers, challenged perceptions, and inspired a whole new generation of artists. After the Carter Three, nothing was the same. Rappers were pushing their flows further, experimenting with their voices, embracing their weirdness. It was like Lil Wayne had given everyone permission to be themselves, to break the mold, to push the boundaries of what hip-hop could be. And the impact of that? It's still being felt today. We just scratched the surface of Lil Wayne's impact. His career is a masterclass in hip-hop evolution, so now it's your turn. Hit me in the comments with your favorite Wheezy track. What song made you a believer? What verse made your jaw drop? Let's keep this conversation going. And listen, this is just the beginning. I want to know who else shaped the sound you love. Who should we cover next? Drop those names in the comments too. Let's keep exploring the legends, the innovators, the game changers who made music history.